Hi, and welcome to On Console, the video blog about my journey to becoming a certified NASA flight controller. Hi again, Jenny here. So, real quick update, I'm going to try and release these videos more weekly now so that you can get more information about flight controller training more often and hopefully in shorter videos. So fingers crossed that works out. Well, if you have been watching, you know that I just graduated from flight controller boot camp. So flight controller training has three main parts, or at least in my case it does. So the first part is boot camp, the second part is command training, and the third part is the technical flow, which includes a bunch of different simulations. So, since I just graduated boot camp, I am now in command training. Command training is exactly what it sounds like. We get trained to send commands to the ISS. So in a few short weeks, I will be certified to control things on board. Not that they would let me do that by myself. Yet! So our first week of command training had a lot to do with what sort of data comes down from the ISS. We call this telemetry, and it can include data from the ISS to the ground, digitized information, health and status, and end item on uplink commands. Now when we say end item, we mean a noticeable change in our telemetry and data that shows that a command we sent executed successfully. All of our data and telemetry, as well as communication, go over different paths and different communication bands. But before it ever gets to the ISS, it has to go through different servers and processors down here on the ground that check and validate our commands before they're sent up to space. So data streams down from the ISS in different sections. There's always an essential section, which is essential information we need from the ISS. Now almost every section also has different packets or different versions of itself that we can change out depending on what information we need. Let me explain that differently. So imagine we have a train with its train cars. So this would be the normal train, day-to-day -day operations. But what if we wanted to send someone into space and go on an EVA? Well, we don't do EVAs every day, so we don't always send down that information. So instead, when we do need it, we would just take one of the train cars and bring in the same type of train car, but with different things inside. In this case, EVA information. So now we have an EVA train, and when we're done with the EVA train, we would switch it again and bring it back to the normal train. So depending on what we're doing, we can packet swap to make sure we have the right information that we need. Now when we're sending commands, we always check with our flight director and make sure we're good to go. For some commands, we have to check with another position, ground control. And once everyone's happy and gives us the thumbs up, then we go on to a different loop with our headsets and announce what we're doing. Now, commanding the ISS isn't as simple as just logging into a computer and sending something to space. Each individual console can be enabled or disabled from commanding, and each command can be saved or unsaved. And there are a few more checks in line just to make sure we don't accidentally send the wrong command to the ISS. Now, we also have a few displays that show what has been sent up there and what's ready to be sent just so that we all maintain awareness of what's going on. We also learned about our caution and warning display, which is an overall summary and message board for any unexpected errors that come down from the ISS. Now these messages are categorized as advisory, caution, warning, and emergency. And they come up on the display so that we're immediately notified and can tackle them as soon as possible. That's all for this week. Be sure to check out my other sites and pages and take a look at the first and previous episodes if you haven't already. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week and for many more as we get one step closer to being on console. Thanks, and have a great week!